So before we look at the specific kinds of tissues, I just want to introduce epithelium in general. Um, epithelium is always a covering or a lining. So epithelium covers my the outside of my body. Your skin is epithelium. Um, it's in the lining of your mouth, your esophagus, your stomach. It lines um, your blood vessels. So any hollow organs are going to be lined with epithelium. When we're naming epithelium, we name it by its shape. So we could say squamous, cuboidal, columnar. Squamous is squashed. It is a flat shape. Cuboidal, it's cubes, um, squares, and columnar columns, they look like rectangles under the microscope. Uh, we also classify them by their number of layers, so we can say it is either simple or stratified. Simple means it has one layer, stratified means it has more than one layer. So first we're going to look at simple squamous epithelium. The function of simple squamous is to act as a filter or an exchange membrane. So it can allow for things to pass in and out of the cell. And you would find it in the alveoli in your lungs. So your alveoli is the place where oxygen is entering your body and where carbon dioxide is leaving your body. So when you're trying to learn these slides, don't just try to memorize them blindly. Try to understand how the structure, what the slide actually looks like, reflects the function. So for this slide, if we look you see how thin this is? It's only one layer thick. So if we want to allow things to pass in and out, it's helpful if it's thin. The next slide we're looking at here is simple cuboidal epithelium. Its function is secretion. Um, so you'll find it in places like sweat glands, also kidney tubules, but you won't learn about kidney tubules and secretion until anatomy two. So I like sweat glands. I think it's the easiest thing to remember. So here we can see that cube type shape. I'm going to outline a cell for you. I'll try my best. So you can see it's a square shape. Um, and what you're seeing is these little Cheerio type circles. And the Cheerio is made up of a ring of individual cuboidal cells. Next, we have simple columnar epithelium. You find it in the lining of your intestines and stomach. So we use simple cuboidal for absorption or secretion. But first, let's look at that shape. So a lot of students, when I've noticed when students are looking at the slides, I think they're getting confused between the nucleus and the whole cell. So the nucleus is just that big purple dot inside the cell. The whole cell is what I've drawn my little box around. Um, so that is where the name columnar comes from, from the shape of the whole cell.
So also we have some special structures in our simple columnar epithelium. We have our microvilli, which are very hard to see. Um, I'm gonna use green. So if you look very closely towards the edge of the cells, you see there's a dark pink line. That dark pink line is made up of microvilli. So if we were zoomed in, the microvilli would look like this, kind of like little squiggles. Um, and the purpose of them is to increase the surface area because if you have little squiggles like this, you have more surface area for absorption than if the edge of your cell was flat like this. Also in your simple columnar epithelium, you will see goblet cells. So everybody knows a goblet is a type of cup. Put this in yellow. Um, so these little cups on top of the columns, that's a goblet cell. So it's possible on your test, your professor might ask you to identify the special structure being the goblet cell or identify the special structure, the microvilli. Next on our list, we have stratified squamous epithelium. So once again, stratified means more than one layer. I'm gonna draw a green line at the bottom of the epithelium. So everything above that line is the epithelium part. And you can see there are many layers of cells and they have that squamous shape, that squashed flat shape. Um, towards the bottom, they're not squashed, but the upper layers, you see that they're very flat. Um, so this is actually a picture of skin. So the function of this is protection. It makes sense that the outside of our bodies need more layers of cells than the inside of our lungs or the inside of our stomach because the outside of our bodies were constantly rubbing. So if I only had one layer of cells, my barrier would be broken. All right. So here we have some transitional epithelium. Um, I put two pictures on this one. One is a really great picture and the other picture is more likely what you will see in the lab. Our slides are kind of washed out. So the function of transitional epithelium is it allows for stretch. So you find it in the bladder. When your bladder is empty, the cells are bubbled up and round. But when your bladder gets full and it has to stretch out, the cells stretch out and become flat. So it's transitioning from a small shape to an open shape. Everyone just loves this name. Ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. So ciliated is referring to these little guys on top. That's the little cilia. Um, and the job of the cilia is they kind of move in a wave and can move things along. Um, then the next part of it, pseudo stratified. So you know that stratified means it has many layers, but the word pseudo means fake 
or false. So pseudostratified means it looks like there are many layers, but there's actually only one layer. Um, it looks like it has many layers because some of the cells, like this one, are short. Um, and some of the cells, I don't know, I don't know it's a highlighter. Yeah, some of the cells like this are longer um, and they're touching the basement membrane. Or The reason there's really only one layer is because all of the cells are touching the basement membrane. It's just that some are short and some are tall. So we would find this type of epithelium in the respiratory tract. Um, and that's where the beating comes into place. You produce mucus to trap debris that get into your throat and the debris get trapped into the mucus and the cilia all day just go like this to beat it out of your lungs. That's why somebody that smokes has a smoker's cough because their cilia become damaged and can no longer beat debris out of their lungs. Okay, well that's all the information I have for you on epithelial types. Have a good day and have fun learning.